decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what? Kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on. Tell me what you want to do. You already know the deal. I'm declaring for the draft. Hey, so what you think? Bro, I think I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, Yo. bro. And it's, it's like for real, really... For real? Hey, yo, boy, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, all right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do. But I'm going to need a minute to set everything up, so why don't you just come back in a little bit and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt. Funny guy. No, 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 I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we're going to have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights are out, too, so I don't get grounded, okay? <laughs> You're so funny, bro. <laughs> you said I better not catch you skateboarding. Man, that's what we do every day. Yo, yo. You ready to talk agents, bro? Are you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. Okay, so who's the front runner? Who are we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at... Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know, though. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. Hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've repped anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, all NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's, <laughs> she's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent, killed it at all three levels. Mm, triple threat, I like that. Yeah, and they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Not only that, bro, they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer is pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, you get big enough as an athlete, though, you can do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look, there's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you win it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. <laughs> Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You're gonna stop trying to play my achievements. Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic. It's amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. Hey, how can I help you? Hi, um, I have an appointment with Kristen Keller, Kellenher. Keller. Keller, Keller. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you'll be also meeting with Ms. Palmer and, of course, Mr. Bennett. Oh, great. He's here already. Cool. Yeah, he just beat you by a minute. <laughs> Everyone's on the 21st floor and elevators are right back there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Jessica. Jessica, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Back there. Y'all saw my player just try to Mac with Jessica right there. Hey, there he is. How you doing, What's How up, you doing bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm you Kristen. Doing? Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the pleasure's ours. <laughs> Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. I love that. Yeah, I'm, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, 
MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age, and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court, and there is not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day to day, and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Oh man, what's the actual more details? Palmer Athletic like, sounds very good, even though they had a have a lot of NBA players. They said that our own ideas and everything. I think that's the part that really got me the most. But I wanna to think about it some more. I wanna to go to Barry's and see what they talk about and how I will make a decision. Well, it's been great getting to know you, too. Uh, you've yep. definitely given me a lot to That's think great. about. Well, Thank you. The pleasure's Thank all you. ours. And look, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll catch up with you. Man. I copy that. Have a good day. Have a good one, ladies. Take care. Yeah. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy, okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room, and you can't miss it. Great, thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana, in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. Homegirl Adriana trying to flirt with us. Uh, let me take a good look at her. Shit, why not, man? I'll shoot my shot. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every Pe day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, uh, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going know, on, guys? Oh, it's MP. Oh, it's MP. Hey, How you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupting something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> Definitely nah, good. Nah, man, I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. Word? It's wild, man. Dope. Oh. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you're just going to represent yourself now. I, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You, got, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. Which is so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, due in large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you've got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base, and they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube All page? Right. Like, hey, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure answering only to yourselves, your vision. Okay, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with no, them? No, 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 it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, OK. You guys know E-40. E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. 
And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. Mm. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? Where's your head at? Oh my goodness. Let's let's learn more about there. Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. Okay, okay. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're very accomplished and respected. And for good reason. But you know what they do over there is more of a traditional corporate vibe. I mean, it's everything you'd expect a top sports agency to be, which is it's good and bad. Good and what do you what do you mean by that? Bad. Well, you know, they'd uh, they never tell you what I'm going to tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Now, uh, Diane have a heart attack if she heard me say that. <laughs> For them, it's NBA or bust. Right, but they don't know how to carve out the type of career that you and Ricky see for yourselves. Mm. That all starts with Barbara. Barbara, yes. Where is she? You know, I thought she was gonna be here today. Yeah, she had a last minute thing. She sends her apologies. We can live with that. That's cool. That's cool. You guys know her story? Uh, a little bit. I'm not too familiar with it now. Well, I'll keep it short. She got her start in a girl group. You guys know SV3? Sure. No. <laughs> Well, you know, so it's the typical boy band, girl group thing. Okay, you know, yeah, label yeah. finds a four-pack of talented singers, tosses them together, marketing defines their look, and, you know, off they go. Yep. Mm. Yeah. I mean, until they're not popular anymore, and then they get dropped. Mm, so you do know the story. Well, I mean, he said he didn't know. I always do my research. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, after the whole SV SV3 thing, Barbara, she just decided she was going to define her career. Okay. Nobody else. So she pivoted, you know, went behind the boards, became one of the most in-demand producers in the game. I mean, she's got like what, twenty number one singles up to her name. That's right. That's dope. Yo, that that story is dope, and you knowing it, Ricky. <laughs> Barbara's a genius, man. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah, like Ricky said, Barbara's a visionary. But music wasn't enough, you know. She got restless. She decided, hey, why not become one of the world's top entertainment agents? And she became enamored with this new breed of athlete that isn't content to just shut up and <laughs> dribble. Yeah. Listen. Anybody can get you a meeting with Nike, MP. Okay. Just be good at basketball. Nike will find you. But what you might not get at PAA, or at least not nearly as soon, are all the other things that we talked about. Now, those are the things that are going to set you apart. And we excel at those things. We can help you get them. What are we thinking? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sign with Barry and Associate. And it's nothing. It's just, I love PAA. I should say PAA. I love them. But their own, own ideas. I basically, basically could have my own ideas with them too. It's just Barry and Associate being like the top athlete there. The story. And I'm going to just go with Barry and Associates. You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type of mm -hmm. career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what are we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever these superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I can't Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big great. things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas. All right, look, I got to talk combine with you, MP. Let's talk. You in a tricky spot. Like, play well, that could be the difference between the mid-lotto and the number one pick. Okay, and play poorly? Uh, out of the lotto entirely. I mean, but no chance you fall out of the first round. I mean, unless you step on a bunch of rakes or something. <laughs> Fam, this ain't no cartoon, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I right? You can hurt your stock, but only so much. It's really just about if you're happy being just a lotto pick or if you want to work for something more. Ooh, hold on, just a lotto? 
Bro, have you ever been drafted in the NBA, son? Look, you know what I mean, bro. Look, yeah, I... it's up to you. That's my only point. All right, what should I do then? I think you should trust your gut. Honestly, neither is bad, but it's just about what you want to do. But I trust that you'll make the right choice. I think that's a compliment. It is. I take it. We'll really think about this, though, all right? This is a big decision. Hey, so look, we need to talk about your draft day fit in, P. Now, look, I know we said we're going to do something low-key and watch it at home, but I just, I still want you putting some effort into it. What makes you think I won't, bro? Do you remember when you wore overalls to the eighth grade dinner dance? Hey, yo, you talking about them overalls? I look good. I was in the light. Like, yeah, hi, what's up? How you doing? Please. <laughs> hey, what's going How many girls did you dance with? That's not the point, Ricky. That's not the point of a dance? All right, maybe you're right, bro. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> look, anyway, I'm going to be taking pics and putting them on social, so I just, I want you to think about how you want to be perceived. I can't just wear, like, a T-shirt or something, man? No, 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 you could, you could, but if you do that, I want it to be a choice, all right? Not just what you wore to bed last night. Look, at this level, we've got to be way more conscious about your personal brand. Everything you do in public affects the public's perception of you. And the public's perception determines what kind of career you're going to have. Perception's reality. <sighs> exactly. Yeah. Look, so now's the time to create the reality that you want for yourself. Look, if you want to be the guy in the suit, be the suit guy. But if you want to be the guy in the streetwear, be the streetwear guy. Commit to it, All yeah. right, but either way, you have to pick a lane before you dominate. You gotta have intention with every action. That's how you get ahead in this game. Hey, I like the mogul side of you. It's all serious and stuff. Hey, you kind of respectable too, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. But look, just think about it, okay? Yeah. Look, whatever you choose, I want you looking fly on draft night. You only get one personal brand, so don't mess it up. Hey, look, Ricky. That ain't a problem, bro. Hey, <laughs> I was in the dance like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, look, I know we wanted to keep your draft party low-key, but you don't have to look like you at a funeral, bro. Mm, not funeral exactly. I'm, I'm getting more of a dentist waiting room vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can actually see that. I wanna be bro, there, bro, bro, we get best. it. Y'all got jokes. We get it, man. <laughs> hey, man, look, we just trying to loosen you up, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. This is, this is an eerie feeling, bro. This is the biggest day of my life. And we just sitting in my apartment like this is just some other day. It's not, bro. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Nah, I get it. You, you probably need some food. You want, you want me to Ricky, get you some water? Stop playing, <laughs> no, wait, wait, bro. Wait, wait, listen, Chill listen. out for a second. MP, I feel you, bro. Okay, because I remember when I first got that call from Barbara that I was hired, and I knew my whole world was about to change. And I'm sitting there in my boxer shorts. Netflix paused in the background. <laughs> hey, yo, what was you watching? I'm, I'm looking for a new show. No matter. Like, the point is, is that knowing your life's about to change and living it, two completely different things. This whole moment's all contrived for the cameras, but the real deal is walking into that training facility for the very first time as an NBA player. That's when you're gonna really feel it. You know, it hit me when MP was in middle school, but I'm used to the whole world having to play catch up. I mean, you know, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> you got enough for talent, I'll give you that, Rick. You know, I always liked you, Charles. And just know I am keeping a list of everybody who was drafted before you because this, <laughs> this is disrespectful. Yo, yeah, Ricky, yeah. man, chill. This is exactly what we expected. We knew MP wasn't going first overall. All right, but I'm just saying, bulletin board material. All right, all right just don't stress out the client, all right? <laughs> Management 101. Yeah, bro, you rattling the talent, man. I don't appreciate it. Oh, yeah, hold on. Mr. Lesser, sir, how are you? Yeah, I got him right here. One sec. MP, Harvey Lesser here. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the Houston Rockets. Thank you so much, Mr. Lesser. It's an honor. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Now go celebrate. We get to work soon. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. Thank you. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select MP. I'm in the NBA. Th th that's the basketball league, because you know those guys are pretty good, right? I'm in the NBA! You in the NBA! I'm in the NBA, baby! Yeah. 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 Let's go! Ah.
The grass in P, your whole world's about to change. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. Everybody get together. We got to get a picture for the hey, yeah, Come on, hold come on, on, come on. Come on, look cool, Charles. Hey, low blow. Let's go. Hey, three. No, 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 we gotta take it again. Charles, look cool, hey, man. He's always cool, a liar bro. like no, that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. More man, cool. come you on. got this. Go, go, ahead. go. Three, two. Ah! Okay, that's it. That's I need it. that on my socials right now, bro. I got you. I'm a pro, chop, chop, oh, Ricky. Whoa. You a pro, but you ain't gotta chop, chop me, bro. I chop, chop whoever I want, bro. Uh -oh, All right, chop, chop uh -oh. me again. I'm gonna make sure those hands never chop. Oh, chop. you go bite the hand that feeds you. Look, I knew you didn't have no book sense, but I thought you had some common sense. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Ricky. You got a better grade than me once in our entire lives. Bro. Yeah, but I sold the dopest pillow in Home Ec. Uh, oh, you did. I don't care. Neon stripes, though. Yo, those stripes go hard. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You guys could be the next Jesus and Miro if this basketball thing. No, 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 Charles. No, 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 no. Don't gas this dude up. He don't make him think he's funnier than what he is. Do you see what I have to deal with, bro? I pour so much love in him, but it's just a one-way street. Hey, maybe it's more of an odd couple kind of vibe. But hey, either way, we can handle that. What do you guys think about a reality TV show? Charles, pump the brakes, bro. Let me start my NBA career first, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably a good idea. Let's let's do that. You I'm in the NBA! Ah, ah, ah! Let's go, baby! Ah, ah, let's go! Ah, I was on mute the whole time and I didn't even realize, but I thought the suit that y'all saw in the clothes animation, I thought it would bring over to here, but it didn't, so, and I don't care about wearing a brown shirt, it's fine, it was just, like, if I was getting drafted by NFL or NBA, I will, in my own apartment, I would wear the, my clothes, I don't care if it's dress up, I will wear my clothes in my own apartment.